Oh, man. So speaking of women... It, apparently it's wrong to say man up now. Too. Here yeah, but, is an example <laughs> of how women aren't supposed to act. Talk to me in the store and he's still following me! <laughs> okay, What's going on? There! Oh. Please make sure they don't get any closer. No, no, they won't. I told they, them they, they need to. They have Confederate flags hanging in their store and I brought it up to them and they started pulling me around and calling me a bitch. And sitting there. <laughs> and then I was driving in the car, they came out. There was three of them, and they were following me into the park. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here, okay, let me set this up for you, sure. first of all, because that was a part of the video. I yeah. will fully admit it. Uh, the video starts off with this woman in the store coming back into the store. Okay. With her cell phone video rolling. She has a kid strapped to her back. And I, I guess she was pulling along another kid. And what happened was this woman was in the store. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like... <laughs> you know when we were teenagers. And you went into Walmart or whatever. And you had uh, the poster displays that you would kind of flip through them. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and you move them. I think they still have them. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it was a display like that. Coming out with rugs hanging. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When you go to a rug store, you pull them out and yep. you can see all the different rugs. So she's flipping through these, and there is a Confederate flag rug. Okay. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> she asked why they have this on display because it's a symbol of racism and slavery and all these other things. Not going to disagree with her there. Yep. Okay. I, I agree. I do not like the Confederate flag. I have my I Okay, have I'm glad no you said that too. It, I, I, I have my own thoughts on the Confederate flag, yeah. which I'll go into. Okay. Afterwards. And then, so what she does is there must have been some sort of confrontation before the cell phone video started going. Mm-hmm. Because the next, the very initial start of this is her walking into the store and videoing her yelling at the employees. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to say is if you look up this video, you will see that the two male employees are jerks, okay? Mm-hmm. But I believe that they were driven to that point based on an yeah. uh, uh, interaction with this woman prior to the starting of this video. Yeah. Um, they tell her to F off. They call her a bitch. Um, they tell her to get out of the store if you're so offended and everything. And, you know, what happens is she she's saying, like, yelling at them, how dare you have this Confederate flag? Well, there's a bunch of people in the store. And they're like, get your kids out of here. Now, they shouldn't have been cursing mm-hmm. uh, to her. Yeah, yeah. Or especially in front of the kids. Yep. Uh, that's that's my professional opinion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we've worked in retail. Yes. And we've wanted to say this stuff to customers oh. a million times. <laughs> <laughs> but, <you> can... <laughs> <laughs> so, so she goes in. She's filming this interaction. And she eventually leaves because they tell her to leave. Obviously, their opinions on both sides are not changing. Mm -hmm. She goes out into the parking lot. She's walking away. And she starts filming herself and reacting to what's going on. Still level-headed emotionally, Mm -hmm. I will say. I think her argument is stupid. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because free speech applies to what you can buy and everything, too. Okay? Mm -hmm. I may not like it. You and I may not like mm-hmm. what it is and what it stands for, but there are people that somehow believe that it stands for something else. And if that's what they want, and that's what they feel it stands for, and they want to buy it, yep. that's a free market. Yep. Um, so she's going off about this, and one of the employees walks out into the parking lot, not approaching her. Uh, he's standing there, and I believe... Uh, listen, I think I've been in this situation with with the retail with you mm-hmm. before, where we've had crazy customers, and you walk outside <laughs> wondering what's going on, like what are they doing, yeah. you know? Because these people are um, unstable. You, you don't know? know who's gonna drive a car through your store. Yeah, you don't know who's gonna yeah. walk back into the store with a gun shooting everybody. Yeah. You don't know what's so going on. So I'm sure what happened was he mm-hmm. walked out to see what was going on with this woman. She starts filming him with the video, uh, the cell phone, and. She says to him, <laughs> and this was immature on his part, but it's something I would totally do. She's like 50 feet away from him, and she goes, Don't you take another step further? And he took one step. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, this causes the emotional breakdown that you guys eventually saw. Yeah. And now, 
Uh, she's screaming at the guy, don't you come over here? And she starts screaming at him that, you assaulted me? She didn't, they, they didn't assault yeah. her. Uh, they cursed her out. You said this. And in the meantime, a customer happens to be crossing the paths in between them. It's a woman. And she's like, what's going on? And she's like, you stay right there to the guy. And comes over to the woman. And this is, uh, listen. First of all, she's videoing this. Yep. Okay. That sends up a clear red flag to me. Oh, yeah. That, it's an act. That this is an act. Yep. Or a statement. Yep. Okay. Which is the same thing in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing is, as this woman approaches from the cell phone video going this way, she flips it to coming this way for her own reaction on mm -hmm. stuff. And that's when you start to see the emotional reaction where she starts breaking down, having like uh, anxiety attacks on yeah. camera. Okay. And she puts the phone down and the woman's like, what's going on? What happened? What did you do? I've confederate yeah. flags in the yeah, store yeah. hanging up on it's my a, wall. It's like filming. They call me a bitch. Yeah. Filming the girl. That, and action. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> And cue the tears. Go! Yes. And <laughs> scene. And scene. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was emotional, Claire. Can you do it again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this time, put your face a little closer to the yeah. camera. We're only getting your sobbing, mm -hmm. quivering chin. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's, yeah. it's so... Uh, this is horrible. This And this woman... She, now, she has a baby. She could be our age. I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. uh, she looks older. Yep. But I'm not assuming. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> I'm not saying that she looks like a Portland liberal. <laughs> but she's a Portland liberal. Yeah. Um, so she's looking, at, she's doing this whole act and everything. This is not the way adults act. No. Okay? So, <coughs> so the employees obviously called her a bitch and cursed her out, which is obviously unjustified, like I said. Uh, mm -hmm. What isn't shown is the original confrontation. Is her reaction justified? I say it depends on if uh, if this rug was actually made from the remains of a slave and crafted under slave labor. Then, yes, I would definitely agree with her. Yeah, yeah. But that's not the case. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Again, I disagree with what this, this Confederate flag stands for mm -hmm. and everything. Um, but, yeah, I never got the... the um the the allure of the Confederate flag to to people to me especially when you consider that most yeah, fly of these that people, losing flag yeah good, good, and, good job yeah <laughs> especially when when a lot of the most people honestly that have a Confederate flag are tend to be Republican or more conservative or you know yeah, but the crazy thing is those those were yeah. Dixie Democrats as support yeah that's true so. yeah back then mm -hmm. yeah, but now like they, these are people I feel like that like hate liberals and all this stuff but. I could never have a flag that fought against the Stars and Stripes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Never in a million years. Yeah. So when people are like, take it down from state buildings, yes, I think I don't yeah. think it should be. I mean, it is. It, it's. It, it's. Well, I it, say I I take a more libertarian, uh, I guess, yeah. federalist approach where I say leave it to the state. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, if the state wants to vote on it to take it down. And the majority votes for it, then do it. If the majority wants to keep it, then whatever, keep it up. Yeah, that's I true. I just disagree with what it stands. For, yeah, I just think you know? that the state should decide. Like, yeah. I mean, that's my personal opinion too. But um, you know, it's like a, it's hard to say anything about a Nazi flag. Yeah. It's still something that drew the blood of American soldiers, and it's the same thing with the. You know, these were people that did not want to be part of America. Yeah. For they wanted very specific for a very specific reason. Bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so they wanted to make their own country. They fought against um, against the the American flag. So I would never be able to support it. But this lady, what she was doing very blatantly, especially when you kind of describe what was going on before, and then she went back in mm -hmm. videotaping. Very deliberately. She was making a a concerted effort to demonize a bit a business. Yes, to to villainize a business so that. That she could put it online mm -hmm. so that it would deter people from shopping at this store uh, for people that own it. That you know, especially the kids that work there. Yeah, they're stupid, but uh, they they're were not kids. They were adults, or adults. Uh, yeah, whoever whoever adult works children there. In my yeah, life. yeah. Well, you know, I was an adult, and a lot of stuff that they said I is stuff that I, I, yeah, I regress. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but no, what I, what I mean to say is I was an adult and I worked at uh, at T-Mobile, and this was all the stuff that I wanted to say to people all oh, the time. Is, uh, we at T-Mobile, mm -hmm. we ran into some of the worst of society. Any retail. I, I like yeah. retail in general. You work in a yeah. mall or whatever. I mean, you're dealing with, you know, 
and but anyway, this lady she was making a concerted effort to demonize a business. Well, and, and that's what's and happening. To go off that so point, when she now. walked out of the store, she was like, "I'm on this street and this street, yep. and this is the business name." And she made sure to get the sign in the background. You're absolutely yeah, right yeah. Right. And that's what what happens now so much. Like if you if you say your opinion on something and some crazy SJW doesn't agree with it, they'll throw you up on this person believes in this. They don't hire them. Don't think. And it's that, just it's crazy. Uh, where I'm and, gonna disagree with you is mm-hmm. the right does it to the left too. Oh yeah, yeah. this whole uh, it's it's something I've I've railed against in, pa- in some of my original podcasts when I started up mm-hmm. is uh, I believe it's very wrong and taking to the social media, especially Twitter and stuff like that, to um, publicly shame businesses or people into either firing a person or stopping a person from employment. Based on an opinion that you disagree with, even if, even if it's the wor- most horrible opinion yep. out there, like if a person is saying, like, you know, quoting from Mein Kampf or something like yep. that, and you know, let them be, like, they're not going to survive in the in the real world yeah, yeah. with things. But you are not the judge mm-hmm. for that person's life. Yeah, yeah. you know, and. Um, and you also don't know how that person's going to evolve over time, too. They yeah. might, uh, I mean, everybody. Well, you're pushing them further away from what your side actually is. Yeah, That's absolutely. for dang sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, but back to the, the, the flag real quick. One yeah. thing I've never understood. Have you ever seen, like, a pickup truck drive down that's got the American flag and the Confederate flag side by side waving? <laughs> like, what the hell is this person I'm thinking? so confused. Yeah. I am showing. I am confused. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which side I believe in, so I'm just going to have both of them, and it'll be great. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just don't get it. Let my let my uh, <laughs> six inch pipes in the back distract you with the fuel coming yeah, out right. instead. Um, okay, so I said what we're dealing with here is a new wave of generation of adult babies that are triggered so hard by life events that they are on the verge of spontaneous emo- emotional combustion, mm-hmm. like this stuff. <laughs> Let's say it's not an act. Yeah. She needs help. Yeah, oh yeah. If it's if, if, it's, if not, it's not an she's act, psychologically unstable. Absolutely. Yeah, but it's I'm like ninety nine percent sure it's yeah. an act. Just the fact that she was totally composed. She went back. She turned the camera around. I mean, this was all. It mm-hmm. was a deliberate attempt to to villainize a business. That's yep. all it was. Uh, yeah. This is not the way an adult reacts. No. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of a video. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> it was shared a little while ago. Did you see the video where? <laughs> just a camera set up in the corner of a living room and all these like kids uh, maybe like three to six years old are standing along the edge of the living room and there's like a slide in the living room and there's um (laughs) like all this stuff and the adults are throwing themselves down the slide jumping on the couch screaming and hitting each other and acting like kids and the kids are standing there like (laughs) what is going on and that's exactly what this reminds me of we have regressing adults that are acting like children to get attention yeah that's all this is it's a it's attention whore yeah and it is just also, she had two kids, you know, this is just raising the next generation to be like, if I don't get my way, I'm just going to throw a tantrum. Yep. Like it's, 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 it's creating the next generation of pansies. How can people like us, responsibly adult, looking at our kids saying, you cannot get what you want by throwing a tantrum you have to do this, mm-hmm. okay? Because if you throw a tantrum, you're sitting on the stairs yep. or whatever, right? Yep. And then we go and bring them out to the stores, and there's these adults acting like that. <laughs> How are we supposed to be responsible yeah, yeah. parents and show them the examples? Yeah. You know what I mean? This is horrible. Yeah. And I really feel bad for this next generation of kids that are coming up under these adult babies. Oh, my God. It's, it's crazy. I don't even, I don't even want to... Let's let's focus on the ridiculousness of today. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's if, if the one thing though that I've kind of seen, and I don't know how true these statistics are, but apparently, um, a a lot of things are pointing towards the generation after millennials okay. are kind of Turning going back towards the right, yep. and it, it kind of makes sense in a way that you rebel against your parents, you right? Yep. So if if, if that's Carter, why things always revolution, things always kind of swing back and forth, Bill. And um, I do think that uh, there are more and more people that see the ridiculousness of of the one side and are are kind of just like, this is nuts, you know? 
Yeah. So I think fingers I think, crossed. Yeah, statistics are proving that that a lot of these uh, this new generation mm-hmm. is anti-abortion and pro-marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, and even uh, there's there seems to be new trends into homeschooling. Mm-hmm. A lot more people are turning to homeschooling because both the right and the left realize the ridiculousness of Common Core and the social constructs of what's going on in the schools. Okay, mm-hmm. um, the state standardized testing and everything. Yeah. We're pumping out cookie cutter students that all do the same thing and mm-hmm. are the cookie cutter itself is broken. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, there, I think there's even a trend towards women staying at home. Mm-hmm. Them seeing a value in that. Yep. <clears throat> and it makes sense, too. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm not disparaging any women that decide to work instead. Yeah, no, not but, at all. Mm-hmm. But look at our generation, okay? Um, you know, it started happening slightly before we were born that women were going to work and everything. Actually, the 80s was a big time for women going mm-hmm. to work. Um, but what happened? Who, who took over the parenting when we were kids? The TV. Yeah. You know? That's why you and I are such nerds when it comes to, <laughs> like, all this other stuff, like yeah. video games and movies and all this other stuff, because we have that connection. You know, when we grew up, those, you know, the parenting wasn't really there. I mean, uh, not not for me specifically. Yeah, My mom either. was home. Yep. Uh, so I had that, but I also happened to just be uh, yeah. <laughs> attached to the TV anyway. Yeah, my, my parents <laughs> both worked, um, but I, when by the time school was over, mm-hmm. one of them, my mom mostly was home. Um, and uh, even in the summers, we we didn't do like babysitters or daycare. We were with my grandparents. Oh, okay. um, you know, so it was always kind of still a familial kind of thing. And thank God too, because. Um, since I was the first one born here in the States, um, my parents spoke English, but my grandparents primarily spoke Portuguese. So since I spent so much time with them, that's how I grew up learning both languages pretty much Are at the same time. Are you fluent in Portuguese? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That my parents even sent my brother and I to school. Um, it sucked at the time, but now I'm so glad they did, you know. Um, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday nights for four grades to learn to read and write as wow. well. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So, um, yeah, and they're taking my... St- Jackson to Portugal this summer for two weeks. Really? Uh, yeah. So it's uh, it's it, it was without good. you. Yeah, because oh, uh, we we weren't um we my my brother is going, but we we kind of weren't able to like set up the vacation in mm-hmm. time to be able to go. But my my cousins are going too, or my my kids' cousins, my nephews. They're right around Jackson's age, and Jackson was already kind of like, oh man. So my dad one day was like, ah, we'll take Jackson. So and I'm I wow. was I was like, yeah, go because it's the first time I went, I was six. Um, and uh, I remember it. I remember, you know, just the different culture and being there and everything. So I, I thought it was a uh, uh, great cool. It is definitely it, so. a cool experience. Yeah. But it is kind of also, you know, Tracy's kind of like, oh, he's going to be gone. And, it, you know, a plane ride and everything, you know. Well, so, but it's, uh, it's it's this whole new mentality. I mean, look yeah. at when uh, this is another thing that has been talked about a lot recently is the fact that when we were kids, mm-hmm. and again, we're only in our 30s, um, you know, People are like, well, what did you do as a kid? Well, I lived in the woods, you mm-hmm. know, not deep in the woods or anything, yep. but I would go out all day. Mm-hmm. My parents didn't know where I was. I was miles away, deep in the woods or out on a four-wheeler mm-hmm. in farmer's fields and stuff going around. And I knew it was time to come home when the sun started going down, when I wasn't going to be able to see anymore. Yeah. And I would get home and they weren't like, where were you? We were so worried or anything. It That, that was a mentality. Yep. I have a hard time sending my daughter out to the mailbox <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah your um, mailbox is across the street it, yeah that's scary <laughs> that is really scary yeah. and it's like it's a complete mentality mm-hmm. shift because of the 24-hour cycle of the media covering all these things the, statistically it's dropped with kidnappings and and bad things that happen statistically that's gone down but every time it does happen it blows up in the media yeah yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. so you think it's happening all the time, all the time. And there's someone just waiting outside mm-hmm. for your kid so like you say that that is an awesome experience for your mm-hmm. son to go and do yep. but that would terrify the living crap yeah. out of me i don't well, know if i'd be able to function at yeah work. you know the fact that that He's going with my parents yeah. and my brother and sister in law and their kids, so I, I know they're, they'll, yeah. that he'll be fine. But um, but it is. <laughs> oh, like, he's not going alone. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm just, just going to put him on a plane. And, yeah, just go have fun. But um, it, it is. You know, I always thought it was crazy when I saw 
<laughs> those parents that have like the kids with the backpack with the leash. But I will say, <laughs> like in giant it. crowds, yeah. I've been like, man, I wish I had one. Of those <laughs> <backpacks>. <laughs> like, just to keep them like close to me. So uh, what if it was like one of those backpacks with like the GoPro attraction that comes up and over, and they're just hanging in front of you. Yeah, I have my eye on you all the time, like constantly. We're just make our way weave through the yeah. crowd. Um, well, to, you know, tying this story with this crazy woman into our last story about millennials dating older and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, if this is the way women are going to act of this generation, too, like, I think we're going to start seeing boys that turn into men in their 30s mm-hmm. start dating older women, too. Yeah. Like, I think I think this, I think the millennial generation is going to fall apart with each other. Mm-hmm. I think it's, I think it's going to fall apart because yeah. they just, uh, they can't get a grasp on reality. Mm-hmm. And that's, I I want to say it's not even their fault. I'll put that out there. Mm-hmm. I think that they've been raised by a generation of parents that uh, buy into the chaos that's going on, mm-hmm. you know, and can't get a grip on reality themselves. And also, it's the style of parenting that's changed, too, yeah. where kids now get everything they want. Yep. I never had a pair of Jordans. I always wanted one. Never had a pair of Jordans. Um, I, I It took forever to get a Nintendo, you know? Well, mm-hmm. actually, I had a Nintendo pretty young. But th- there was tons of stuff that that, uh, that I wasn't able to get. And one time I was, I was at a store with, with my mom. I was like, I wanted a... She, from This is all I remember from her, probably because I got concussed and I don't remember it at all. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a Ninja Turtles coloring book. And mm-hmm. my mom was like, no. And then I started throwing a fit in the store. And I got a backhand across the face. And um, she kind of freaked out because now we're like, oh, did somebody see that? Yeah. Is, is, is somebody going to take my kid away? Gonna, but the old just... lady behind her actually said, good job. That's good. You know? <laughs> and, um, you know, I got I got hit. I got the belt. Yep. Um, I got... Uh, the, the, there was one... <laughs> One time where my brother and I were really bad one time out at a, at a restaurant and the whole time we're getting the death stare from parents and we're not, and again, also I have old, old school parents because they were born abroad and everything. Mm-hmm. So, um, and, uh, but we just kept, kept acting up, making a scene at the restaurant and everything. And then the whole car ride was quiet on the way home. And then, uh, I knew that we were in for it. So I start to be like, Oh, my little brother, Hey, look at our science project. I just made. This is a whale. <laughs> I remember it. It was like an ocean in comes dad with the belt, shuts the door, shuts the blinds. When the blinds shut, it's, you know, it's game over. Um, they and you uh, started putting a, a plastic sheet up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, and then my brother and I had different techniques of dealing with this. He yeah. would be the one running around all over the place I would just cur- curl up in a ball and because he was being more evasive I felt like I think he's watching I, I felt like dad had to spend more time on him <laughs> but uh but never once <laughs> did I ever feel abused or that no. I had bad parents no. or that everything because anytime that ever happened I deserved it yep big time and um and not only that every time afterwards we talked you know mm-hmm. and a lot of times too like you know m- my parents didn't like doing that stuff. Yeah, but I'm now well, it's like we're parents. We know we know. Yeah, we yeah. No, stuff. not at all. And um, I mean, but if you would say like if I was like a terrible, and they would say like go to timeout, I would I would be like okay, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. And now kids go to timeout or go to their room, and in their room they got computers and uh. TVs and Game Boys and everything. You know, so it's totally different. A totally different style of parenting. There is no fear. You know, parents now I feel like aren't saying to their kids what my parents told me. I'm your dad. I'm not your yeah. friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your mom. I'm not your... They're friends now as mm-hmm. grown, as adults. Yeah. But when we were kids, they were not our friends. Yeah. They were our parents. And you put yourself out there. I'll put myself out okay. there for yeah, my, one of my worst experiences. Yeah. And it's from my mom who mm-hmm. was the worst of the discipliner between oh, yeah. her and my dad. My dad was the one to, mm-hmm. to lay down the law. Mm-hmm. <sighs> God bless my parents. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I was a, I was a, I was one of those kids. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. um, I don't even know what it was over. All I remember is being a young teenager, mm-hmm. standing on the steps, looking up at my mom, being pissed off at her. She said something, and I spit in her face. Oh! <laughs> if you've ever seen the new uh, DSLR cameras that go in slow motion and slow everything down thousand perfectly. frames per second yeah. <laughs> I saw the spit it came it was halfway between the two of us 
when a hand started coming out. <laughs> and I took it across the face yeah. like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. And uh, I totally deserved it. Yep. You know? And all these articles are being written now. I see them all the time. All my liberal friends post them. Psychiatrists say that hitting a child is emotional abuse and, and scars them for life. Bull crap. Yeah. You know, what? I... I there's a there's a fine line I agree between mm-hmm. abuse. Oh yeah, absolutely. And there is the such thing as abuse. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's I never had marks. You know, I never went to school with bruises no, they hit or anything perfectly. like that. They didn't, yeah, I know. They, it was always the weird clothes. Clothes. <laughs> <laughs> So, and they or and they do it where you can't see. You yeah, know? yeah. And it's it, the the way that we were too was my parents would always say that whoever watched us. Like if 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 my parents trusted someone to watch us, yeah. then they trusted them to discipline us in any way necessary. So my grandparents, you know, my uh-huh. I mean, and and we're talking po- older school Portuguese yeah, yeah. friends. So we're talking yeah. wooden spoons, <laughs> sandals, <laughs> shoes. I saw a sa- I was running away from my grandmother once, and I just saw a sandal like <laughs> like right by my head. <laughs> she couldn't catch me, and. Um, my, my my one grandfather, he had more of a sting, whereas my other grandfather was a carpenter, and it was his hand was like a club. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, but I ran, I ran from my dad one time. I thought I'm younger, I can get away. I'm still like a younger teenager, yeah. right? And uh, he starts chasing me down the yard, and I swear. <laughs> These the most horrifying moments I went through, and I'm laughing at them now. Oh yeah, I totally deserved it. Yeah, yeah. Is it all? I all remember it in slow motion. I remember running, thinking I am younger, more fit than this guy. He's an old man, and I remember looking back and seeing him. And it's like those movies with a wolf coming up on you. Like you're like, yeah, home. <laughs> <laughs> you just like run. He tackled me. Yeah. They took me down. That's all I remember of yeah. it too. It's the yeah. funniest memory. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm still afraid of my dad. I'm a thir- oh. I'm going to be a 36 year old. <laughs> and if I disappoint him in this way, I'm still like. <laughs> I'm not telling. I'm not saying anything that my dad doesn't already know. Yeah. But the guy's short. Okay? Yeah. My dad comes up to my chest on. Yeah. Me, okay. I love him. There are only two people or two. Entities that I am afraid of: my dad and God. Yeah, right. The only you could be. Listen, I. I'll tell you another funny story. I'll tell you another funny story just to prove like how people do not scare me. There, I was drunk (laughs) one time when I was in my early twenties, and I went out to a convenience store, and there was a bunch of hot dog rollers, right? Two big cheese dogs on Mm -hmm. the thing, right? And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like stumbling around, waiting behind this guy. I didn't even come up to his shoulders, okay? And his arms at the top were like bowling balls, Mm -hmm. okay? Bald guy standing there, ripped, like, just filling his shirt, right? I'm like, oh, man. I I look up back at my friend. I'm like, I want to get one of those hot dogs. Those look really good. The guy in front of me looks over. He goes, yeah. He goes, I'll I'll have one of those hot dogs. (laughs) I, I go like this, and I tap him. I'm like... Ah, uh, it's a good thing you didn't get the other one too, because you know I was I was eyeing that up. He goes, "I'll take the other hot dog too." I was like, "You mother!" And I, I started going at I started re- I started going after this guy, <laughs> and my friend grabbed me from behind. Colin, he actually watches this too. He, he grabbed me from the He's like, "Don't do it, man! Don't do it! You're yeah. drunk!" <laughs> no, he stole my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, oh it's man. But but this this goes back into that's why the kids now are turning into these millennials that are just don't if they don't get their way, they have a fit um and and it's cuz parenting is totally different now. Oh, yeah. I had a I I I I've never I've never hit my kids with 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 anything. Like with a belt or anything. But there've been <laughs> a couple times where Jackson's been bad. I was like, "Jackson, just so you know, when I was a kid, I got the belt, you know?" And he was doing this thing where he, I, I'd pack his lunch in the morning, and uh, he'd come home. All the snacks were gone, but the sandwich was still there, and it was starting to drive me nuts. I'm like, Jackson, I got the belt when I was a kid, you know. Thing, I got a phone call from the school one day. Jackson's, uh, we, we just got a call because oh, no. uh, you know <laughs> he's crying because school lunch is over and he didn't finish the sandwich, and he said Dad was gonna hit him with the belt. <laughs> And I'm like, uh, I've never hit him with the belt. And, like, and the principal, I've, I've talked to him before, and he's like, yeah, yes. I know, but we just we just have to call. 
And I'm just like, this, really? This is how now schools are intervening into parenting mm-hmm. if you're too strict or whatever. Oh, it's worse it's than that. like I'm surprised he got away with it. It's like yeah, it's in yeah, like I'm, I'm like, is child services going? I was just and I've say, never, I would be surprised. I've would never, be surprised. like, he never gotten the belt yet. <laughs> uh, he's still too young for that. But um, but now it's like it is this fear of like. I could have told my parents when I was a kid, I'm going to tell on you. Uh, and or One time my brother actually said, uh, I'm running away. And my mom was like, there's the door. Go. Do whatever, you know. Now it's like you have a real fear that someone's going to come, like, freaking take your kids away. You know? Yeah. 